But I, I felt, because this is on attitude and this is on thinking, I felt that I, ought to, I, I pulled this one out. I wasn't, going this, so th- I wasn't going to do this, but for the hundred men in the audience and me, I would like to talk to you just for a moment about eight words that women use. This is for our welfare. This will help your marriage. In fact, this was what I'm going to tell you is worth you coming to the conference and being subject to stares and ridicule. The first word that a woman, and I'm going to help you understand this. I've got it all written down. I don't understand it well, so I have to have it all written down. You understand this. I keep this with me. I've been been married for 41 years. It's not an accident, folks. I keep things like this with me. When when your wife says, fine, (laughs) this is the word women use to end an argument when they are right and you need to shut up. I'm I'm helping you take the high road here. This is high road teaching. So when they say fine, it's not fine. (laughs) Just shut up, be happy. When, when, When your wife says five minutes, if she's getting dressed, this means half an hour. Five minutes is only five minutes if you have been watching a ball game. And she wants you to go somewhere with her. Understand the difference between five minutes and five minutes. Five minutes and five minutes are not the same five minutes. I'm trying to help. I'm doing my best. We got to hang in together, guys. We are outnumbered huge. In fact, when I'm done with this teaching, we'll all run. Fast. Never to be seen again. Another word they use is nothing. Nothing doesn't mean nothing. (laughs) This is the calm before the storm. (laughs) Nothing means something, and you should be on your toes. Arguments that begin with nothing usually end in fine. Okay, number four, I'm helping. I'm just doing my part. Go ahead. This is a dare. Not permission. I beg of you men, don't do it. Don't do it. Go ahead doesn't mean go ahead. Nothing doesn't mean nothing, and fine is not fine. (laughs) Number five, a loud sigh. (sighs) This is actually a word. This is a non-verbal statement that is misunderstood by men. A loud sigh means she thinks you are an idiot (laughs) and wonders why you are, she is wasting her time standing around arguing with you about nothing. (laughs) Refer back to number three if you forgot what nothing means. (laughs) Nothing isn't nothing. Number six, that's okay. This is one of the most dangerous statements a woman can make to a man. That's okay means she wants to think long and hard before deciding how and when you will suffer. 
That's okay. That's okay. Well, that's okay. That's okay. When they say, that's okay, it's not okay. <laughs> Number seven. Thanks. <laughs> A woman is thanking you. Do not question or faint. Just say, you're welcome. <laughs> now, I want to add a clause here. This is true unless she says, thanks a lot. <laughs> thanks a lot is pure sarcasm. And she is not thanking you at all. And do not say, you're welcome. By the way, if you say, after they say thanks a lot, you say you're welcome, you'll hear a whatever. <laughs> Number eight, don't worry about it. I got it. It's another dangerous statement, meaning this is something that a woman has told a man to do several times, but he is now, but is now doing it herself. This will later result in a man asking what's wrong and for the woman's response refer to number three. It's nothing, nothing.